first started about two years ago now, so we had a small pocket of funding to run it. Um, it was mainly set up for people with dementia or suffering from dementia, and how it's evolved and changed and developed. We do have people who are suffering from dementia, but we have a lot of carers. So we'll have a lot of people that have lost their family through dementia as well. So we didn't predict this at the beginning. So it's an organic group, really friendly, lovely, lovely people. Um, we do various things, you know, we're sort of open-minded to anything. So the type of things we've done, we've done theatre visits, um, museum visits, uh, the dockyard. With all our links at Pompey in the community, we've utilised them. We have a cinema club once a month. Uh, we asked them what their first ever film they wanted and I thought it would be something like um, Sound of Music or something like that. It was the full Monty. So this completely threw us and this is what this, this project throws up every time. Yeah. <laughs> I see Paul at foot, walking football and he said he was starting up the club of you know, when we come, when we first started, it was only about eight and nine, and then it got bigger and bigger. And it is like it is today, we have between 25 and 30. As soon as we came, it was very friendly, and my husband's always been a Pompey supporter all his life. So he gets real um, enjoyment from coming to the centre, seeing all the people in their Pompey kit, and uh, things like that. At the very beginning, this was our hook, yeah, because um, we used the power of the football club. So this is what we were using. Um, and then when we first started, I think the first three or four sessions, they were all, all around Portsmouth Football Club. So it is, you know, it stokes memories, and this is what dementia is about. Oh, it's a li it's a lifeline. It really is a lifeline. And I've introduced a few people since we started coming. We only heard it through word of mouth from somebody else and I've done the same and tried to get people to come because it's really a really good club. So um, normally we do like trips and everything like every few weeks or so so we like to get them out and about and they can have a coffee afterwards because we've got Green's Cafe around the corner and it's good just to get like have a chat and that and catch up so yeah it's really nice to get them out and about as well. Even today like they've been walking around and saying oh yeah I remember bringing my grandkids here or my children here and it's like yeah that could have been like 10-15 years ago and it's like nice to say oh yeah I remember this, I remember this and especially where it's been revamped as well because it's only been revamped like the last few months so yeah it's nice for them to come back and see it again really so yeah and it's jogged some good memories for him so yeah which is nice. Yeah. Yes it's grown quite a lot we were about 10 I think when we first started and then we were in a big hall we played um, curling and uh, balls and so forth. It was, it was very nice but we have gradually moved. Everybody seems to know everybody else. It's getting difficult because there's such a lot of us but it's nice, yeah. You've got to remember, you know, not everybody's married, not everybody's got someone. Some of these people are socially isolated, especially men. Okay, so the only contact they have once a week is this group. It's my husband's got Alzheimer's, yeah, he's been diagnosed about two and a half years. Um, he loves to come here. We, as I said, we've met a lot of new people and it's just good for me because I've met people and we can chat about the same sort of things. You know, a lot of people live in Portsmouth but they ain't never been and seen all the things we've got, same as the, the people that got dementia and that. You haven't got to like football. This is very rarely anything to do about football. Our dementia group's different than any others because it's not just a coffee morning. We're interactive. So we're doing arts and crafts, we're making things, we're creating things. We use memory boards, so every event we do we will take images, okay? And then the following week we'll print all the images off, they cut them and they create a memory board. So it's a bit like um, the, the Warlord tra Tapestry in the D-Day Museum. It just documents everything and it's a memory board for someone with dementia, or the early set, onsets of dementia, they can see that. Oh yeah, 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 I remember that. I remember that church visit, I remember this, and this is what it's all about. They, they do a grand job, they really do excellent job, you can't fault it.